Strike three called. Let's talk about Carlos Correa. Should we be concerned about him? Well, let's take a look at his stuff and see. On the face of it, he is off to the slowest start of his career, if measured by OPS. But he did have a similarly slow start last season, and that year turned out to be just fine. So first, let's look at all the good things about Correa so far. He is lifting the ball more with an increased launch angle up from 11.6 to 18.1. His whiffs haven't changed and he's being a tad more selective than last year with his swing percent decreasing slightly. But here are the concerns. A lot of his stuff has gone the wrong way this year. His exit velocity is down, his barrel rate is down, his hard hit rate is down, his expected stats and his regular stats are down, strikeouts are up, out of zone swings are up, He's been popping up a lot of batted balls, tons compared to the last few years. His swing take profile this year is not great to look at, where he's struggling to generate runs from pitches in the heart of the zone as well as laying off chase pitches. His run value on all pitches are down considerably from last year. Now granted, this is taken with a grain of salt, it's a way smaller sample size. For example, he crushed the four-seam fastball in 21 and 22, he's being beaten by it now. He dealt with the curveball very well in 21 and 22, and has only got one hit off of it this year. In the same years, he dealt with the cutter very well, and has had very minimal success off the cutter this season. Basically, the kind of contact he's making this early in the year has been mediocre to okay. However, this is why all of this isn't something to worry about. For one, He's hitting the fastball very hard at a 45.5% hard hit rate. He does have the highest slugging percentage on the cutter compared to any qualified pitch he's seen so far this year, and he's hitting the new pitch designation sweeper well if compared to last year. Correa has also been the victim of some horrendous batted ball luck, with a BABIP currently of 240 when his career BABIP is around 316. Once he starts really punishing the four seam and sinker closer to levels that he had in 2022, he'll start getting the results that we're used to seeing. I'd give him probably another 100 plate appearances until we really should start worrying about anything, if anything. <laughs> <laughs>